Hi, you're watching Get Gavin. This is Arix, and today we're going to be looking at the Day of the Dead event. The Day of the Dead event occurs on the last day of October and is to basically honour the dead, really. So let's have a look. You can do the event in a bunch of graveyards throughout the world, however, I chose Dalaran for convenience. Northeast of Violet Citadel is where you'll find the graveyard. When you arrive, you'll find two NPCs, uh, one's a vendor and one's a dancer. Uh, Chapman, the vendor, sells a bunch of loads of cool stuff. First you've got candy skulls, they're pretty useless, they only restore like 160 health, so who really cares. Um, orange marigolds, which allow you to see dead people, you know, you basically become Bruce Willis. Spirit candle, which gives you a whopping four spirit, four whole entire spirit. And then there's the whimsical mask, which basically puts a kind of dead creepy facey mask on you, like that. It's worth noting that all of the items I've just been through, uh, you can't use outside of the Day of the Dead event. So tomorrow, gonna be useless. Speaking of useless tats, the vendor also sells a bunch of Mexican wrestler outfits. There are five of them. They cost 100 gold a piece, and you can use them all year round. However, you have to buy them today. After today, they go off sale until next year. So last but not least, there's a quest you can do to uh, get the pet. What you need to do is go to the vendor, buy uh, either a singular marigold or a bouquet of marigolds use it near the graveyard and then there'll be a guy standing there with a quest he's going to ask you to make some bread of the dead the recipe of which you can buy from the same vendor and it basically all it takes is for some milk and some basic flour which you can buy from any of like the low level innkeepers use your pro cooking skills to combine all the shit together i think you only need one but i kind of made like a whole bunch I can't even remember, um, but yeah, so then once you go back to the graveyard, use the marigold, get the guy to appear, hand that bad boy back in, and then you get your brand new, nice new pet. Oh, look at him dance, he's so awesome, amazing. And then there's only one more thing left to do, is to go over achievements. The first achievement's really simple, go up to Katrina, select her, do slash dance, and you get the achievement Dead Man's Party, and as an added bonus you get turned into Katrina as well. When you're in the Mexican wrestler outfit, you get a new action bar that allows you to do a bunch of really cool abilities. This is tied to the second, third and fourth achievement, which are to defeat other people who also have the costume on. I couldn't find anyone with the costume who, who would be willing to duel me, but I mean, you've got all year to do it as the items are not bound to the event. So that about wraps it up for the Day of the Dead. Really super short event. You can do it all in like, you know, 20 minutes or so, um, except for that really long ass achievement. But you can do that anytime. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, I kind of wish they would have done like a little special thing for this year's Day of the Dead. Maybe they could have had like Varian Rin just appear out of nowhere, you know, because he's a friend of Grey Mane. Rip. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Tune in, like, subscribe, and all that jazz.